Hello, I hope this video finds you well. This is night 10 of my commitment to record one. Coding that video at night as long as schools are closed. Um, tonight we're going to look at missing char, which is contained in the warm up section of coding that or warm up one. And we're going to work through the Java solution. So let's try to read the problem. Given a non empty string and an int n, return a new string where the char at index n has been removed. The value of n will be a valid, valid index of char in the original string i.e. n will be in the range 0 to the string length minus 1 inclusive. And if we look at the first example, we see missing char kitten 1, and the result is k-t-t-e-n, which has removed the i at index 1. The second example, where we change the n value to 0, removes the k, which is in index 0. In the third example, where we change n to 4, it removes the e, which is in index 4. So what do we have to do with this problem is we have to use string construction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new string and then and then return it. Um, often I'll see students when they do this problem try and subtract the letter out, and that actually doesn't work. There are some fun ways using the replace all or the replace function to, to collapse a string, but it doesn't work in this case. And this is a really nice opportunity to practice um, using substring. So to do this, we're going to make a new string called new str, and we're going to set it equal to empty string. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to return new str. So of course, if I hit go, this isn't going to work. I get a bunch of empty strings. What I need to do before I return it is I have to construct this new string. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do not the general case, but a specific case. And to do that, I'm going to say str.substring, and I'm going to go from, if we look at this first case, if I want to go from kitten to k-t-t-e-n, to get the k, I'm going to go from 0 to 1 plus str.substring. And if I want the rest of it, I don't want the i at index 1. So we'll go 1 past that to index 2. And I'm going to go to the full length of the string, which is 6. And I hit go. And sure enough, it works in that first case, but in no other cases, because this is a specific case. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it for a different specific case. Substring. So let's do it for the third case here. So if I want it to, to remove the fourth index, it's going to go from 0 to 4, because I want the k-i-t-t, -T, and I can see that we're inclusive-exclusive, plus str.substring 5, 6. And I hit go and notice that one case works. Now you could be scratching your head here saying, why is he doing this when it's obviously new str equals str.substring, 0 comma n plus str.substring, n plus 1 to str.length. And you're right. I could have just done that right off the bat. What I'm trying to illustrate here is an approach that I often encourage with beginning programmers is when you can't see the generalized rule right away, start off by writing out two, two specific cases and then try and generalize it. Because if you look in my case one here, let's start off with what is case two. And let's just get rid of this for a second. Okay, so if I go str.substring and I look at that first value, I notice that they're the same, so I can easily put zero. Well now, the, two second, the second value is different. But what I can do is I can relate that back to n, and I really quickly see that that, in every case, is the value n plus str.substring. So now I look at the second substring, and I say, okay, well, they're not the same, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, but how do they relate back to n or the length? And they relate back to n simply by recognizing that they are n plus 1. And then I put 6 because it's the same in both cases, and I hit go, and it doesn't work. Well, the reason it doesn't work, you've probably seen this, is that even though these are the same as 6, what, what, should, what should really trigger for me is that 6 is the actual length of the string. So I'm going to say here, str.length. And there we go. Now, of course, it is always fun one-lining these, so let's just quickly one-line it before we go. And so what I can do is I can just return this right away and go str.substring 
0 comma n plus str dot substring m plus 1 str dot length. And there's the one liner, no problem, um, because I just generate, construct the string in one step. I hope this video helped. Have a lovely evening.